Hey Dion, this is the uh, control that will demonstrate the use of the file upload user defined uh, Java action script. Um, to show this completely, I've, I've, um, I've just created a couple of tables. I'll show you what they look like. I'll make this a bit smaller. There we go. We can see those. So I've got this, this table called TBL users. Really simple stuff. User ID, username. That's it. Um, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's anything particular going on in here. Uh, yeah, it's not auto increment. Nothing like that. And um, and then so that that just defines some users. But then we're going to upload files like multiple files per user. So we've got this table set up. It's got the record ID, which is an auto number uh, field. User ID, which ties back into the. Um, into the TBL users table, and then I've got uh, another field to indicate uh, just just the file name, and then I've got another. Um, I don't know why I can't grab that. And I've got another field in here to to uh, indicate the the full file name, so um, upload folder and everything. So I created where else can I go? I created an upload folder here. This is where I've got A5 web root running. So I've got an upload folder just called uploads. It's just got some test data in there that I uploaded. Uh, so that's that. So on to the um on to the uh oh, I didn't want to do that. To the component. Um so what we've got running here, let's run this and then we'll walk through it. So I've got a button here to select the files to upload. Um, it's a UX component, uh, a couple of fields from the main TBL users table. So I've only got two records in there. And then this is a repeating section container in here. Um, navigation buttons and the, um, the data control uh, submit and reset button. So we can select a file, a couple of files to upload. I'll go to uh, pictures. Doesn't matter what you upload. Put in a jellyfish. And let's grab a document. We'll do this one. Upload them. Oh, I've still got this turned on. Okay, well, let's just run this. Good. And our jellyfish and other document um, came through just fine. As you can see, the auto number is going through. We're picking up the key from the uh, f the field here, and we're putting it into place. And that's it. So um, let's um, walk through the code. Again, this button is file upload user defined, uh, allow multiple files. You can change all this stuff if you want to. Um, what else is there in here? Sizes. And um, this has got to be in place. This um, this is an X, uh, X basic function that's going to be called that will process all the files uh, that you're uploading. So let's go and have a look at that now. That's my button. X basic functions. Um, what, I'll, what I'll do first, though, is uh, in order to get this dialog loaded, I'm sure you know all this stuff, but you know, I'm just going to walk through the whole thing. In order to get this dialog loaded, you do an, an on dialog initialize um, action Java action scripting, uh, edit the action here, and uh, it's, I just chose the one that says load primary key for for a table of dialog, and so these controls. Uh, are bound to the TBL users table. These controls are bound to the um, the user uh, files table. And we'll go back to server side stuff. So I've just got that running. Nothing else going on in there. And then our X basic function process upload files. So this contains all the data that you're going to need to to do the processing. I'm going to take this out. Uh, set up a SQL connection, set up some arguments, uh, set up your SQL connection here and open it. Um, some error checking in there. So I'm going to do an insert into TBL user files for user ID, file name, and the full file name. 
with the values being user ID, file name, and full file name. Um, this information now the user ID is uh, numeric, so we've got to turn it into numeric because everything that's coming through in this information is um, is a character. Uh, e dot file count, which is described up here, up here, the number of files that are being uploaded, so that's good. File array is um, an array full of uh, information and file data, file names, that sort of thing. So all that's really spelled out quite well. Um, you can establish this in a session variable if you want to. Got to set it somewhere, uh, unless you're just going to put it. You know, unless you're going to hard code it. So that's fine. I just did that. So the file name is this plus. Um, uh, backslash plus the uh, file name from the file array. Then we do a file from blob for the file name, full file name, into uh, file data, f data. F data is the data coming in. Uh, so we just from the file array stuff. So f data is the actual file data. So we do a file from blob. We uh, create the file called file name with uh, the f data uh, blob information. Uh, our file to store is just the file name. So that's what's going in there. So file name to store is going to the file name. This file name, fn, the full file name with the path is going to full file name. Uh, we execute our SQL statement. And if uh, if it doesn't happen, then you set, you can set e.abort to true and e.airText, and that's what shows up inside the file upload box. And then we finish, we close everything off, and then we can send back some JavaScript um, this is explicitly stated up here. You've got to use window.parent because everything's open inside a window. Um, so uh, we just do a refresh on the primary key list that we went and got, and so that'll refresh all the files that are showing up as well. And I think that's it. E.form data. That's the information that's coming in. Um, let me just. Let me run this one more time and turn that back on. Save it, run it. And I'm just gonna grab. I'm just gonna grab one file. Load it up. Oh, it's a little big. Nope. Remove that one. Uh, grab that PDF. That's file. So um, what we've got in E is form data, and um, we've got dirty columns here. So if things have changed, you can go and grab that information, old original data. Uh, I think I believe this is current data. I'm pretty sure. So you can see how all this stuff is filled in. And there's our user ID and username and all the other information. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Run it. So I hope that's what you were looking for. Um, there's so many ways to go about um, you know, doing this, presenting it, and that sort of thing. But basically, basically what you've got is um, the file upload user-defined stuff and an X basic function to process everything. So I hope that helps. Uh, give me a shout if it doesn't make any sense. Thanks.